Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Declaire. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Making great saves is the best part about being a goalie. It's our version of a nasty deke or a massive hit. Robbing bitch ass suckers is our way of showing how big our dicks are. Unless of course you're a female goalie, in which case that means it's your way of showing how big your vagina lips are. If girls brag about that sort of thing. I don't think they do. Yeah, anyways, uh, highway robberies are not only good for your ego, they're also good for team morale. A good save happens when everyone is almost certain the puck is going in, and then all of a sudden, a giant unemployed wall of doom is there to stop your dream of winning the Colon Cup Championship. What a tragedy. That being said, there is a huge difference between a good save and a nasty save. A good save cannot be taught. Dive, slide, or get some part of your body over to the other side and hope the puck hits you. If it does, you're a hero. If it doesn't, blame your defenseman. A nasty save is when you take extra energy to add some unnecessary flair to whatever robbery you intend to commit. This not only adds nothing more than just pure showmanship, this actually reduces your chances of making a save. That is why it is that much more of a spicy Call of Duty teabag when it happens. Robberies can't really be taught. Most of the time, it's a combination of fast thinking and luck. Nasty saves, though, they can be taught, and also can be done in an infinite amount of ways. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to teach you a few ways you can add some spiciness to your robberies and have your opponents walking away with the taste of sriracha balls in their mouth. This is Goalie Smarts episode 26, how to make a nasty save. Nasty save number one, the windmill. This is the most classic of them all. Whenever you feel yourself catch a puck, throw that arm in a massive over-exaggerated circle. This can be done with any shot. Of course, you can do it on a one-timer or a breakaway, but it does not have to be anything special. Even a non-threatening muffin from the point can be spiced up with a little bit of windmill action. The whole point of the windmill is to let everyone know that you have the puck. So don't do it unless you know you've caught it. If you blow a shot because you're trying to show off, you've probably also blown your chances of passing on your genes. It's called natural selection for a reason. No girl wants her babies to have half fucking premature windmiller genetics. Once you catch the puck, add your spice, and the ref blows a whistle, go around the rink and tell everyone that you have the puck in your glove. Hey Mark, I caught it. I caught it right here. Good job, Nick. Thanks, man. Nasty save number two. The fucking pad stack, dude. The pad stack has no practical use in the world of modern goaltending. I don't even know why it had practical use in the old school world of goaltending. Using a pad stack is saying, I am so confident I am going to stop the shot. I am going to take the extra energy to kick my legs out from under me and wall my pads, guess where the puck is going, and hopefully stop it. It makes no sense at all. It's mostly luck if you do stop it, and it makes you look like a fucking savage. If you've got the balls to put your team on the line like that, just to look cool, you've got the balls to do anything. Why are you wasting your time being a hockey goalie? You should be using your body for more productive things like sneaking coke through airport security. You do that a few times, and you'll have enough money to buy Tuka Rask's house, Alex Ovechkin's Benz, and light them both on fire. Nasty save number three, the cartwheel. The cartwheel is another totally impractical save. A cartwheel is when you slide into a play legs first and lift your legs over your head and hope you'll hit the puck. You'd think that moving side to side in your butterfly would be the best way to handle that. Using a car wheel instead is saying, not only am I going to use my legs as gloves, but I'm going to throw my legs in the air like a woman getting her cooch exam and guess where the fuck is going. Fuck the government. Nasty save number four, the Kermit. The Kermit also makes no sense whatsoever if you're catching on to the pattern here. The Kermit is when you're on your stomach and you lift your legs behind you and stop the puck with the back of your heels. If you use this save in a game with any sort of importance, you are a lost cause and you belong in a mental institution. They call it the Kermit because it makes you look like a frog with a nerve disorder. Nasty save number five, the torpedo. Much like the Kermit, this one is completely made up because I'm running out of ideas for this video. Basically, you just dive head first into the shot, hit it with your mask, and hope it works out. Uh, I don't know why you do it, but if you can pull it off, send me a video. Thank you for watching the 10th weekly episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by Angus Snow. If you think you're a funny guy and you have a funny idea for the next funny video, fucking do something about it. Maybe I'll make it, maybe I won't. You can't tell me what to do. What do you think, you're better than me? I'm Guillaume Duclair and I'm out.
bitch.